Hey guys, it's Renee and uh, recently I've been going through a bit of a life transformation. I wanted to share with you guys the process and what's been happening. So at the beginning of the year, I um, saw a photo of myself which made me really unhappy. Um, not only did I, uh, was I unhappy with the way that I looked, but I was also really unhappy with the way that I knew that I felt. Um, so I wanted to make a change. So I started introducing a few different things into my life. Um, and that really had a positive effect for me. Um, to, to date, I've currently lost maybe 10 kilos um, and I've still got a little bit more, um, but more to the point is that I'm feeling so much better than what I was three months ago. It's had a really positive effect on my life and uh, I feel like a new person, not a completely different person, but a new and better version of myself. Um, so I just wanted to share with you guys five tips that um, I found that have helped me in the last three months. Um, they're not gonna all work for you, um, and everybody's different, and I don't expect everybody to agree with me, but these are the ones that I know I've tried and um, that have worked for me in this process over the last three months. So tip number one, basically what I started doing was instead of having a big breakfast, big lunch, big dinner. I started having smaller meals throughout the day. Um, so now instead of those three big major meal and food groups, I, um, I do a breakfast and then a mid-morning snack and then a lunch and then an afternoon snack and then, and then dinner. Um, portion sizes have also changed for me. Um, we used to sit down and we used to have at the end of the day like a massive dinner, like I'm talking like a big piece of steak, lots of veggies and then like heaps of mashed potato and it's, it, it's just too much and while I could put it away and I would like eat it and be really like, oh that's awesome. I actually now, having changed my portion sizes, realized that I actually didn't need that and I was eating for the sake of eating. Um, so now we have much more, much more smaller meals in the evening, especially before you go to bed because you know you eat at like six or seven o'clock and you're going to bed at like nine or ten, you're gonna fall asleep on that food and it's not really gonna, it's not really gonna do anything. So I've changed my, um, my portion sizes and my meals throughout the day. So, so it really helps to be fuller for longer. So my body never feels like it's starving. Um, from the morning to the night, I always have something. Like I always feel like if I'm hungry, I'll, uh, I'll be able to have like an, an egg for instance, or in the afternoon I'll have Greek yogurt with uh, fresh strawberries and blueberries and a little bit of honey. Like I've always got something on hand to, to, to keep that sort of starvation at bay. Because look, at the end of the day, when we um, are starving our body, it, 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 does, it wants to hold on to that food. So we don't want it to hold on to that food because you know it could be really bad for us or it could be a bad donut that we've had last week. So we just wanna keep on fueling that body, especially if we're doing a lot of exercise. We wanna keep on fueling that body and making sure that it knows that we're not starving it, we love it. Just like we love food. <laughs> Tip number two is just to keep super hydrated. Um, I never used to drink a lot of water and you know, because it doesn't have, I was more of a soft drink drinker because to me that was more satisfying um, and and I just cut out all soft drink which actually helped with migraines as well I suffered from migraines and I cut all the soft drink out and that really helped I actually haven't had a migraine in three months which is awesome and very positive um, but the water really helps with keeping fuller for longer as well like I find that if I have a snack in the afternoon and I have like you know 500 mils of water I, I can last through to you know dinner time and I'm not starving or ravishing when I get home from work because I know before I started changing my eating lifestyle and eating habits I would like have lunch have nothing in the afternoon come home from work and I would just binge like biscuits chocolates Anything I could get my hands on that was in the pantry, pantry, I would have. So now it helps, and that's why it helps having different portions during the day, but now I sort of think to myself, if I feel hungry, is it just that I'm thirsty and I have a big drink or I have a green tea? And that really helps, really helps. Number three is actually near and dear to my heart, and that's find an exercise that you love to do. Um, I've fallen in love with body attack. Um, but there's so many other different things that I love to do and I love the feeling that I get after I finish these exercises. Um, even if you don't feel like your levels of um, fitness are there, like go for a walk. 
the the amount of um, happiness and positive energy you'll get out of going for a walk and just getting out of the house or getting out of the office um, will re really makes it so much better. Honestly, like if if you're like me and you sit behind a computer all day, you'll benefit from getting out and just strapping on those joggers and going for a walk, even if it's 10 minutes down the road or you know an hour walk along the beach or whatever. You will really find that it will help. I found that group fitness really helps for me. I've made a bond with a bunch of different people and met new friends and had really positive experiences and had people open their eyes to me and give me new tips and ideas and, and support. I mean, that's the main thing, isn't it? Like when you're doing something that maybe is a little bit of a struggle for you and you feel like you can't do it, then having that little you know, circle of support of those friends, of those trainers, of those family members that say, you know, you can do this. Because at the moment, you know, like you're thinking, I can't do this. Like I've just sat on the couch for three months. I'm, I'm, I just don't have the energy to do it. Really, it's all up in here. And if you get outside and if you walk and if you do something that's positive and you release that energy, it's going to make you feel a million times better. So just do something you love. Tip number four is uh, a little bit strange for me because I was a meat and three veg girl. I was uh, go to the pub, have a snitzel with chips, very Australian foods. Like I would never ever branch out of what I was used to eating. I would never do anything different. I was just, you know, to the book. So um, what I started introducing was, and I started um, researching different types of foods. So you hear about all these superfoods and you hear about like kale and quinoa and all these sorts of delicious, um, well, what I know to now be delicious, um, foods, which I was like, ah, that's gross. But now like introducing things like, um, quinoa into, uh, you know, a salad or something like that has really made such a difference in terms of not getting bored with healthy food. So the problem in the past that I've had, and I'm sure a lot of people out there have had, is that you get bored with a salad. Like I know I will get bored if I have a salad every day, or if I have, you know, like um, steamed veggies and chicken and rice every single day, I'll get bored. And then I'll give up and I'll be like, let's go have a burger. And look, at the end of the day, it's okay to have a burger every now and again, but it's not sustainable. So what I started introducing was different types of fish, different types of meat. So a lean cut of meat, like say turkey or pork, or um, we recently introduced kangaroo into our household, which is, you know, scary for some people because they're like, oh my God, that's skippy. But at the end of the day, it's actually very lean meat that's very good for you. So, you know, they have an open mind to new foods, have an open mind to superfoods, um, and just try try new things. I know, I know I never really liked mushrooms and I started having mushrooms and, you know, they're, they're, a, they're a delicious thing to eat and, and then they make a salad incredible. So, like little things like that really helped me in terms of healthy alternatives. Tip number five, and this one to me is the most important one, and that's rest. Rest and rejuvenation and repairing your body. If you're um, working out seven days a week, or maybe twice a day, seven days a week, you guys need to recover. Your body needs to recover. The muscles need to repair themselves. Um, you will find that if you have a rest day, the next day you will come back and you will be giving 100%. Whereas if you do seven days a week to two times a day, you're gonna find that you're only working at 50% of what your body's capacity is. You're gonna get tired, you're gonna get cranky, and you're not gonna work as hard. So rest and rejuvenation, it's okay to take a rest day. And I know in my mind, like you feel guilty, you're almost like, oh, you know, like I should be out there, I should be doing something, like is this gonna make a difference on the scales? Is this gonna make a difference here or there? It's equally as important for your body to rest and recover than it is for you to exercise. Because otherwise, if you do yourself an injury or you get exhausted, you're not going to be able to exercise in the end. And that's what I found for me was that I, at the beginning, when I first started working out a bit more and, and eating healthy, I went seven days a week, I'm going to do all these exercises and I'm going to work really hard. And then I got to week three and my body just could not sustain it. So it's like anything, you just need to take your time, rest, rejuvenate, repair, and then go again. 
So guys, those were my tips. I hope they were helpful to you as I know they were really helpful for me on my journey. Um, if you guys have anything, you any questions or um, any comments that you want to say, just pop them in the, the comment section below. Be happy to talk to you about it. And look, at the end of the day, you have to do what's right for you. You have to work as hard as what you can work, work as hard as. And you have to do, have your own journey. Everybody's journey is different. I know my journey is so different from other people's that have done the same thing, but we all get there in the end. And it's hard work, dedication, and support from our loved ones that will get us there. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.